What can we say about this? This farce, you know, this sort of just meeting up of all the most expensive planes in the world in Glasgow, whilst people are sleeping at Euston Station, delegates sleeping at Euston Station because they couldn't get there. And I mean, it's it's traumatic. I mean, people are going to have to there's going to have to be counselling handed out to a lot of the delegates who've had to to stay in places outside of Glasgow, I fear, not, not such savoury <laughs> places. But look, this whole situation is... is Have I you mean, stayed in any of these places? I, don't, I, don't, I can't take it seriously. I keep... I, well, personally, for me, it feels like it... Well, I suppose I feel a bit like David Cameron did, you know, just before Brexit. He kind of thought somebody... Someone's going to step in and it's not going to happen. That's what I thought. About climate change? Well, with Brexit, you know, I said, it's not going to happen. Someone, someone's going to step in. This can't happen, is what I was hoping for. But I, and I, I'm, I'm hoping the same now. How can it be 48 hours left to secure a deal? How can it be that new analysis has told us that the, the climate is heated up by 2.5? I mean, it's insane. What... Why? You know, when I was a little girl, when I was a little girl, right, I, I used to think, obviously, very simplistically about the world, but I, I, I was very concerned about the plight of humanity at a very young age. And I used, to, <clears throat> I used to think, I don't understand. If there's a nuclear war, I was worried about nuclear war when I was young, right? I used to think, I, I, I don't remember. understand. How, yeah, because in the 80s, there was a lot of fear about that, and the Cold War. And I had the sleepless nights think, about it. And I, I yeah, remember the snowman like and things like that. Living through the Cuban Missile Crisis, mm. our, our generation, right? So I used to think, I don't understand. The people that create the situation which leads to a war, they will get protected in the event of a war. But then we'll have to start over again, and all the innocent people will be killed. And the people that created it will be alive. And I used to, I used to be perplexed with this conundrum. And I feel it's the same with climate change. You've got guys like Bezos there... Flying in with their private jets. Yeah, but he was already jets. investigating space, presumably not just for monetary gains, but as some kind of... He always wanted to go, and now he's got the cash. Holiday. Yeah. And, Holiday him on Mars. You know, you know some days you, it just goes over your head, and other days you, you, you think, hang on, are we really living in a world where just members of the public are delivering packages? <laughs> you know, <laughs> like retired couples <laughs> for all around Bezos. the world in, in <laughs> vans, OK? Uh, emissions connected with vans. And the guy that owns a company is securing... He's flying in in his $70 million jet to a climate it change conference. It just doesn't conference. seem real. I, I, I just don't... I don't feel it's real, and, and I can't take it seriously. I, I, someone, well, someone's going to step in. The grown-ups are going to step in, right?